there's another question here, more about practice. Uh, the question is, can Kempola please speak to us about the Nyingmapa vision of meditation and Buddha nature? So how, mm. how do you think about uh, Buddha nature in terms of practice and meditation in your tradition? That's the question I wanted to ask you, Kempo. So please explain um, how you bring Buddha nature in your own daily practice. Uh, and of course, to share the other Nyingma meditation traditions connected to Buddha nature. So in, in, uh, um, in Nyingma tradition, so every, every practice you can say is based on Buddha nature. As I was saying in the very beginning, the ground is the Buddha nature. The path is the way to clarify, clear all the obscurations, adventitious obscuration on Buddha nature. And the fruition is just the clean part of the Buddha nature, you know. But when Buddha nature is obscured within our karma and afflictive emotions, so it's called as an essence, the Shikmingo. And then in the practice of Ngondo, that's one of our main practice, right, in Kaju and Nima. So that Ngondo is a way of purifying our karma and afflictive emotions so that you have enough you know, <clears throat> purification of this uh, karma and uh, the accumulation of the merit as all our practices is about purifying karma, emotions and uh, accumulate merit. And as you go, then, uh, then in the, uh, when you go to the real Tantra teaching, then what we have is we have the uh, Kerim, the generation stage, Zogrim, the completion stage. So then in, when you're doing these deity yoga practices, so all uh, the deities that we, <coughs> try to visualize or we wish to in this deity yoga practices is as this Buddha nature has an, you know, uh, dynamic uh, possibility to manifest into any forms, but if, uh, peaceful uh, forms, wrathful forms. So you are visualizing yourself as a deity in a sense, it is just the reflecting a reflection on Buddha nature. So our generation stage is also based on Buddha nature. It's not just an imagination. It's not just a conceptual construct, but it is uh, for the beginner is a conceptual construct, but it is a way to reflect on the, uh, you know, the, uh, the the uh, the dynamic energy or you know <laughs> the cell of the Buddha nature in uh, in uh, Tibetan is called cell, not Rigpa cell or Rigpa Rama self projection, and then in the completion stage, which is now can also be like again uh, different forms of completion stages. So that is may, uh, sometimes completion stage is based on working with your wing and channel. So that's also the Buddha nature has manifested out in the form of a pure essence of this wing and channel. So we are trying to clarify on it, <coughs> purify that <coughs> and uh, perfect it. And then we have this now, um, the um, 10 minute, non-characterized uh, completion stage that's mainly on, on the emptiness aspect of uh, the Buddha nature. So in, in that sense, then uh, this is how, you know, the general, <coughs> the Ngondro, Kerim, Dzogrim works. And then when you go to the Dzogchen teachings, it's also, it, <coughs> you know, in our writings, they're saying that Rikpa and Buddha nature actually are same. And I, as I was just joking in the beginning, so uh, according to Ma, uh, uh, Uttara Tantra, it, even a uh, uh, Bodhisattva in 10th Bhumi can, cannot clearly understand this uh, Buddha nature. So it's a big 
thing, you know. But in uh, in Mingma, as I was just joking, we found a way to bypass all those, and then they, they when the meeting of the right student, right teacher, and right con uh, conditions, when all these right things are in convergence, it's not for everybody's cup of tea, but definitely then uh, Dokshin teaching says that such introduction as an ordinary person, you can experience that, you know, even as an ordinary person, because that had been with you from the very beginning and that never changes. And I just joke that why we are not experiencing it is because we neglect that, you know. Our eyes see all these beautiful things, our ear hears the music and all this, you know, the sound. And in that way, we, we are distracted with our five senses and never pay attention inward to ourselves. So that's why it becomes <laughs> difficult to uh, realize this Buddha nature or the Rigpa, but it's definitely <laughs> possible to experience that even as an ordinary person in the Nyingma tradition. So this is how uh, basically you know, all practices are just hovering around Buddha nature in different aspects. <laughs>